even get to Ross. Hello, this is one of several videos where we will teach you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Subscribe so you don't miss them. The first thing you should know is that this card game is one of the most popular in the world. This card game in addition to being very fun is very competitive and worldwide there are tournaments of thousands of people. The objective of this game is to finish off your opponent's life points, which are 8000, with the help of the cards in your deck. In this video we will show you, the types of cards. To start you must know the types of cards you will need to start playing. In general they are monsters, magic, traps but each of these are divided even more. To avoid going crazy we will only explain you with the basics and in a next video we will show you more types with what you will learn little by little. Monster cards with these cards you will be able to attack and defend yourself from your opponent, in addition to that with the unique abilities of each monster you will be able to apply many strategies. A monster card is divided into several sections, 1. The name, 2. The attribute, 3. The number of stars, 4. The art or drawing of the card, 5. The additions, 6. The type 7. The monster class in this case is a normal effect monster, 8. The effect 9. The attack and defense, for you to know all the types of monsters are the following, normal monster, effect monster, pendulum, Synchro, Fusion, Exceed, Link, and Ritual. Each of these have their way of summoning them, that is different ways of using them in the game. In future videos we will teach you how to use each of these types of monsters, so subscribe so you do not miss it. Now we go with the spell cards. These, it could be said that they are the engine of the game since with them the plays are made, they are very different from the monster cards since they do not have level, damage or attack and much less can they be summoned as a monster, they are put face down in the area of magic cards or traps to be played after or from the hand, these have special effects that harm or help players and that can turn a game around, the frame of these is green. The magic card is divided as follows, 1. Type of card, 2. The category, 3. Name, 4. The effect. Now we go with the different categories of magic cards. Normal. It is a card that when using its effect this goes to the graveyard and does not have an icon to describe it. Ritual magic. This card is used to summon ritual type monsters and is represented by a flame. Fast play. It is a card that can be activated from the hand or in the field in any turn of both players, this is represented with a lightning bolt. Field Magic. This card activates in the field zone and produces an effect while it is active during the entire duel, when it is destroyed it goes to the graveyard and the effect ends. Keep going. When this card is activated, its effect continues as long as it remains on the field, it is identified with an infinity symbol. Equip Spell. As its name suggests, it is a card that equips a summoned monster in the field by changing its stats and if the monster in question is destroyed, the card goes to the graveyard. Trap cards. Trap cards, like magic cards, are placed face down and cannot be activated in the same turn that they are placed, their main function is to make it difficult for the opponent to play, since they can counteract effects and attacks. Like magic cards, they are divided in a similar way. 1. Type of card. 2. The category. 3. Name. 4. The effect. And there are only three types of traps. The normal, counters and continuous. Normal Traps. Like the normal magic card, this card is for single use only and is destroyed after being activated. Continuous Traps. Again we have this type of card that after its activation it remains in the field until it is destroyed by another effect, just as the magic card has a compass as a symbol. Counter Effect. These cards have the function of denying the effects of other cards and even denying monster summons, they usually have a cost for their activation, from discarding a card to the graveyard to paying life points, this card is represented by a curved arrow symbol. You did very well. Now you know the types of cards in this great game Yu-Gi-Oh! Comment that you would like to learn and we will surely add it to this tutorial in the next videos. Thank you very much for watching the video, subscribe so you don't miss the next chapter on how to play Yu-Gi-Oh!